But can I afford this? However, the real question is, do I want to afford this? And what am I willing to sacrifice to do so? Well, the answers lie in your current lifestyle. And chances are, the very reason why you inquired in the first place was because the way you're currently living isn't doing justice to your physical, and most importantly, your mental health. So let's break it down. If you look at our prices and think, hmm, this is quite expensive. Well, it's no 24 seven gym, and the prices don't reflect that. But what they do represent is accountability, routine, family, results, and most importantly, a sense of belonging in an extremely supportive environment that is hard to replicate. Generally, there are many spending factors that we can compromise on to not only better healthify us, but to allow us to afford things that will again help us physically and emotionally. Because after all, your exercise, regardless of where you are and what you're doing, should be factored into your lifestyle. So the top five factors that we regularly come across are two regular coffee dates, Uber Eats, alcohol, dining out, and then my personal favorite, the partner factor. But let me elaborate on this one. If you have a partner, you're probably enjoying a lifestyle that includes all of the above factors together. But again, let's not forget why you inquired. So perhaps after reflecting on the amount that you spend, this could be a fantastic opportunity to take the lead and create a healthy lifestyle as a team. And after all, couples who exercise together, stay together or something like that. So if our lowest membership is 195 for two per week at 12 months, or even three per week, which is ideal at 265 per month, I guarantee by assessing your spending factors, you'll easily be able to afford our elite services that we know, after hearing time and time again, will be a matter of why didn't I do this years ago? The investment is your health. Without your health, you're not left with very much. So get a pen and paper, break it down, and reflect. You'd be very surprised.